Hello, YouTube and the World Wide Web. Good to see you, Bob. This is Check It Dude on a Rick Tube on YouTube for SniperGaming.org. Um, you can find all our links below this video, including Discord, Facebook, and all that fancy stuff. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, at some point. Today we're going to cover a race that I created. Um, and a race that I created that I had to race up once with uh, on YouTube, but YouTube flagged it because Rockstar's music when I was in the car was playing, so I got flagged for the music. So I have to do it again. And uh, I just wanted uh, to Pippin to know that I saw his comment before I deleted the video. He likes to call my races my trophy truck races butt clenchers. Because I've created, I don't know, a handful so far. And some of them really are butt clenchers. There's 12 or 13 minutes of white knuckle. Hang on. Don't screw up. Go as fast as you can. Look out for the cliff. That's a butt clencher. Remember, I'll do anything as long as so we're going to go to my jobs. We're going to play my jobs. One of them. My jobs. Races. And the name of the race is called Old Man's Crack Plus. Now... It's not a perverted thing. If you go to Mount Chiliad and look at the hiking trail, you'll see a sign that says the hiking trail is named Old Man's Crack. And my initial race is Old Man's Crack, and then I improved it, and that's what the plus is. I, uh, I made the race for trophy trucks, but if you run a motorcycle, you'll win. But that's not going to stay that way for long. I am going to reroute this race through deep water several times at some point, just so motorcycles can't win it. I like I like a fair race and the motorcycles and and trucks they've gotten lumped together in Rockstar as off road and that's the only way you can uh, restrict classifications of vehicles or restrict vehicles from entering a race is by classification rather than by vehicle. It's just not a fair race when a motorcycle is, is up against a trophy truck. That's to me that's not a race. Uh, they I wish they would let you restrict vehicles by the name of the vehicles so you can narrow it down to have a, a fair race so everybody running the same vehicle um, it's set for point to point GTA right now for some reason on default I, I'm gonna change that to point to point custom vehicles are okay we're gonna play alone because I am not gonna run this race fast I'm gonna take it slow and I'm gonna show you all the butt clenching moments that are going to make you lose this race. There's a, maybe a half dozen things that, um, if you if you hit this race fast um, and you haven't seen the race yet, you're going to lose this race. And I like to say about these races, these butt clenchers. These are races you lose more often than you win. You know, there's a time in this race where you can go high flying as fast as you can, and then there's a time that if you go high flying and as fast as you can, you're going to lose the race. There's certain parts of this race where you just have got to uh, keep your sneakers on the ground. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm having some FPS issues uh, lately. My HDD drive is getting filled up and uh, making these videos doesn't help. I deleted some stuff before I started and usually that fixed it, but I see I'm having some issues. Anyway, here we go. Really easy to roll the truck. Hit one rock. A bump. I usually catch this with catch them in here. I screwed it up, but let's hope it. Hopefully I land on the sneakers. I did. I'm not going to stop and show you every spot where you might mess up. Um, I'm just going to show the ones that are that commonly make people lose these races. There's maybe three or four or five. The rest you're just going to have to pay attention to your terrain. This is not, you know, a sanitized race with big wide tracks that 
you know, stretch out through the, through the stratosphere. This is a, a, here's your first pitfall right here. I've seen more people lose a race right here. Under this green bush near my right front tire, it's a bump. It might be the land, it might be a loose boulder, but if you hit it fast, you're done. You're going down over the left bank and you're going to get uh, penalized by time. Either you're going to try to climb back up into the race, which takes forever, or you're going to respawn. The quicker you respawn, which is you hold your Y button on a controller, the quicker you get back to the last checkpoint you went through. Um, so if you are really quick at respawning, screwing up somewhere doesn't mean you're out of the race. All right. But if you're slow and you tumble first, you're tumbling, tum tumbling, you wait till you're, you know you're out of the, and then you hit your Y, you're, you're done. As soon as you go off the ledge, if you hit your Y right away and hold it down, the quicker you respawn, the better. Anyway, so here, you can go almost full tilt through here, but you got to hang left a little bit. And it's gonna, not going to be really comfortable because it's going to, because if you go left too far, you're going to go off the, the road, <laughs> even if, even without bumping that rock. Here's another one here. That loose rock at top speed sometimes causes issues. So this is uh, Mount Chiliad, I believe. That's what I always call it. I could be wrong by one mountain. And I believe this is the right trail. That's called Old Man's Crack. One of the trails up here is called Old Man's Crack. I'm pretty sure it was this one. That's why I named it here. Here's another issue here. There's a bump right here. You pretty much have to go over it. I've never tried to go left over that ledge up there. But uh, I, sometimes you can hit this bump here. Almost top speed. And it's smooth as silk. Other times it lurches you off and down to the right. It's uh, I, I can't figure out why sometimes and why not. I guess it's a luck thing. It's just how you hit it. Now we're at the top of Mount Chiliad. We're going to start going down and this could be where you really get killed. Um, the left button, it's a break. You're going to have to use it. You can go flying down through here top speed and make it all the way across that ridge down there. Uh, I've done it. I've seen people do it. But 90% of the, 95% of the time, if you try, or nine, even more, um, you're just going to go skidding off the, into the rhubarb there. Um, right here, this bump here, this one gets a lot of people. It's hard. It, it's actually hard to slow down coming down through here. But if you go over this bump fast, just know that when you come down off the backside of this knob, your, your, your tow truck is de-weighted. Your, your weight is off the tires or your tires are completely off the ground and you're going to get in trouble when you're looking for traction coming down here too fast. Um, it's uh, More people go off here than it's it's crazy. You can go fast across this part, right? But uh, that bump back there, that hump of ground, <laughs> you do it if you want. But anyway, here's a spot here that I just wanted to tell you. If you've got somebody right behind you coming down here, you're in a bad place. You are in a bad position. They're just going to shove you off and you're going to miss checkpoints. And same with this point here. If somebody's right behind you here, do whatever you can do. Don't let them behind you unless you trust them. You know, <laughs> right. And, uh, let it even let them go first, you know. Whatever it takes. All right, so... I am not traveling at butt clenching speeds, but uh, here's another spot. Don't let it push you off because I just want to show the race. Here's a spot here. You, it comes off a ledge. It's like a 10 foot drop. Hold your nose up or go around the trail. Right there. See the little loop that goes around? It's, it's quicker though, just to hold up your nose with your arrow pad. And here's, here you got a choice. You can go right down that trail, which is, it's a little tricky because gravity. If you're going too fast, you're going to skid off to the right. Or you can go this way and hold your nose up again off this ledge. Here we go. As you can see, It's a pretty big drop. Now we're 
getting down near the bottom and my FPS is acting up, but you could start opening it up now with, you know. And right here you want to leave the trail and go to the right. I initially had it going straight, but there's some rocks that down there that just made the race no fun. You get stuck on them and it's hard to bump over them. So, a little finesse down here. Try not to hit the tree. It's a good place to roll the truck. A lot of people roll there and get frustrated while they're trying to ride their truck. So I come down there a little easy, personally. spot to go off. A lot of people go off there, down in there. That costs a lot of time. Slipstream is on. If you don't know what slipstream is, it's a setting in the race where you would see two tails of smoke, trails of smoke coming off the tail of my truck. And it's like a draft, and people pick it up and they increase speed if they're behind you and they zing by you. When you get to the top of this hill, there's a shortcut. It's a jump. It bypasses maybe a few hundred feet of this road. You land on the same road, um, but it bypasses a big loop of it. And it's a time saver, but there's no need to hit it hard or fast. You actually don't want to because the landing area is a little scary. You don't save any time by hitting it fast, not really. You save more time by succeeding here. I just let off the fuel, hit it nice and easy way safer. You can hit a top speed and survive, but if you hit a top speed right way down here is where you normally go off, right there. It takes that long to stop. Slow down so you can handle that corner.
and it's it's a lot more fun off speed. But if you're playing to win, yeah. Like I said, it's a it's a race that is usually won by the smarter guy. Not necessarily the fastest. You might remember the old tale. About the, how's it, the rabbit and the tortoise. The tortoise and the hare, I think they call it. Anyway. What am I doing here? Oh, I turned left. I wasn't supposed to. The next checkpoint. Too busy talking. When you turn left, you don't have to stop to do it, but you do want to take your right joystick or however you're set up and look up the hill. Pick your target and make sure you're pointing right at it while you're driving. All right, right between those two rocks, outcroppings, it looks like, well, anyhow, you go right up there, and you see halfway up that steep part, there's a bump in the ground. Um, you do what you want, but if you go as fast as you can over that bump, you come off that bump, and your tires are deweighted, or your your tires are in the air, and you slow down massively. So it pays to... Uh, and when you do slow down massively, your tires start spinning, and then you're not pointing in the right direction. You can get up there full steam, floor it, and make it. But you could also, uh, as you go over that bump, let off the throttle just a little bit so you, your tires don't become quite as airborne. And there's a good example of how to do it. Um, actually, I didn't time it perfectly, but I did it good enough, so I got up there fairly quick. Now here, you know, you got to know the difference between a bush and a tree. If you hit that one on the right, I think that's a tree. The one on the left might be a tree. They stop you dead. The bushes you can roll through. Now you're going to come down, and you're going to jump off this ledge over the highway. You want to really point it. So you, you want to point your truck so you're not going to hit the telephone pole. All right, we call them car catchers. Um, you could do it pretty fast, but I'm going to go kind of slow so I can show you the pole. See it down there straight ahead? Go a little bit to the right, but, but land on your wheels. Um, you don't want to hit that pole. You want to come right down through here. And it's easily done without spinning out. There's two quick checkpoints here. Watch for that one, the second one there. I love these trophy trucks. They're so much fun. Now, you can stay on the beach and go right, and just stay on the beach, or you can go over this jump. It doesn't matter. I like the jump. tricky spot coming up. This checkpoint right here, when you hit it, take a sharp left because there's another checkpoint really close to it. And if you went here and did a sweeping turn because you're going really fast, you'd go by this checkpoint and you really wouldn't see it. I don't know why I put them so close together like that. It may have been um, because uh, it's hard to place checkpoints in uneven ground, maybe that's why, but it is pretty even back there. It doesn't matter. Anyhow, they're there. And you can stay on the road or take the shortcut across the beach. And, uh, good thing I'm not racing because, uh, I had already lost and all these times I tipped over. Slipstream again. Now, I know you guys all know about slipstream, but just because you have and you're behind and you have the slipstream doesn't mean you gotta pass. If you're smart, you'll wait to pass. You'll wait until a point where he doesn't have another chance to pass. make the last pass right before the finish line is ideal because then he has another he has no chance unless he tries to block you which he will and a lot of people here will try to go through the vineyard on the right and they think it's a shortcut more often than not it 
doesn't work out for them. Those grapevines, you can't roll through them. And you gotta go all the way around in there. It's not that good. It's not that bad, but it's not actually a shortcut for time. And there's the finish of the race. Please like and subscribe. Check out the links below. Have a good day.